Before we continue, it's common sense not to judge the many by the deeds of one, so don't paint everyone with a single brush just because one person did something stupid. Anyways, Black Lives Matter Louisville co-founder Chanel Helm has helpfully listed a few ways white people can do. These are 10 requests for white people. Per Leo Weekly. 1. White people, if you don't have any descendants, will your property to a black or brown family. Preferably one that lives in generational poverty. 2. White people, if you're inheriting property you intend to sell upon acceptance, give it to a black or brown family. You're bound to make that money in some other white privileged way. 3. If you are a developer or realty owner of multifamily housing, build a sustainable complex in a black or brown blighted neighborhood and let black and brown people live in it for free. 4. White people, if you can afford to downsize, give up the home you own to a black or brown family. Preferably a family from generational poverty. 5. White people, if any of the people you intend to leave your property to are racist say holes, change the will, and will your property to a black or brown family. Preferably a family from generational poverty. 6. White people, rebudget your monthly so you can donate to black funds for land purchasing. 7. White people, especially white women, because this is your specialty nosy Jenny and meddling Kathy, get a racist fired. Y'all know what the hell they be saying. You are complicit when you ignore them. Get your boss fired cause they racist too. 8. Backing up number 7, this should be easy but all those sheetless clan, Nazis and other white men will all be returning to work. Get they ass fired. Call the police even, they look suspicious. 9. Okay, backing up number 8, if any white person at your work, or as you enter in spaces and you overhear a white person praising the actions from yesterday, first, get a pic. Get their name and more info. Hell, find out where they work get them fired. But certainly address them, and, if you need to, you got hands, use them. 10. Commit to two things, fighting white supremacy where and how you can, this doesn't mean taking up knitting, unless you're making scarves for black and brown kids in need, and funding black and brown people and their work. These were the 10 demands, and please, contain yourself to a respectful language in the comments.